What's up, Comic Frontline, and welcome to another episode of Fanboy Fridays. Now this week, uh, since I didn't get any suggestions, I thought, why not just come up with another one? But again, feel free to leave your suggestions in the comments below, and I'll, you know, do that topic for next week's Fanboy Fridays episode. But this week, in honor of Dragon Ball Z Resurrection of F, coming to theaters tomorrow, or actually today, I'll, I'll be seeing it tomorrow, but coming in theaters today, I am doing a top five DBZ characters list for you guys. Now, Dragon Ball Z is a huge part of my childhood, and a huge part of many 90s kids' childhoods. That was probably, DBZ was the first anime that I really got into that got me really immersed into the culture. You know, I, I, ever since Dragon Ball Z, I've watched countless other anime series, and but DBZ is what started it all. It's what started my love for anime. So, gotta show love to the Z Warriors. So, um, before we get started, I want to give, you know, three honorable mentions to Tian Chen Han, uh, Android 18, and Master Roshi. All awesome characters that I really have a lot of love for, uh, but unfortunately, they did, they did not make this top five favorite Dragon Ball Z characters list. So, let's go ahead and get started. Number five, Piccolo. Did you expect anything less? Piccolo is just freaking awesome. I this guy gets so underplayed. He's such a badass, and he just continues to get stronger and stronger. No matter what, no matter who they go up against, Piccolo is always there to help. Sure, he's not the strongest. It's become Dragon Ball Z is pretty much the Saiyan show, but. It doesn't matter, because Piccolo is still freaking cool. I mean, he trained Gohan. He still held his own against Cell for a while. And of course, you know, we didn't really see him do much with the Majin Buu saga, but still. Piccolo, he also trained Goten and Trunks during the Majin Buu saga. That's what he did. But Piccolo is still really cool. One of my favorite characters. And his voice is just badass. At least his English dub voice and his Japanese voice. Oh man, so cool. Uh, love Piccolo. That's why he deserves my number five spot. The rest of these spots, yeah, they all all the spots from four and up are Saiyan characters. I'm sorry if uh, that seems a little biased, but they're all awesome. So my number four spot goes to Future Trunks. I have to make that, um, you know, I have to be specific about it because I'm not talking about Kid Trunks. I'm talking about Future Trunks that came from the alternate timeline. It has a sword, and was trained by Gohan, and uh, killed Frieza just like that. I mean, this dude was so cool. When he first showed up, I was like, holy crap, this guy is awesome. I've never seen anyone else go Super Saiyan before at the time. And then it was just like, whoa, this guy is cool. And you find out that he's Vegeta's son with Bulma? What? <laughs> Man, when I first found that out, that was crazy. Uh, but it was uh, it's pretty cool. Trunks is an awesome character. His story and his future timeline is just really interesting. See that Gohan stepped up as a protector of the Earth and was still fighting bad guys with one arm. So cool. Uh, that's why Trunks gets the number four spot. Number three goes to Goku. Yeah, Goku's not number one. Uh, I know a lot of you guys will probably be shocked that Goku is not my number one. But... Goku is still an amazing character. He is Japan's Superman. He is the man who breaks all limits, and no matter what, no matter how hard the odds are stacked against him, he will come out on top because Goku is the man. Mr. Kamehameha, the original Super... Well, I guess not the original Super Saiyan, but the top Super Saiyan, Goku is awesome, you know? Sure, he's a man-child, he's an idiot, but when it comes to martial arts and fighting, dude's a genius. Love Goku. He obviously deserves number three spot, and I'm sure he's your number one. I'm sure he's number one for a lot of you guys, and that's fine. This is just my personal opinion. Number two, who gets the number two spot? That's right. In my eyes, Vegeta <laughs> ups Goku just a little bit. I just love Vegeta's character because of how much he's developed 
over the course of, you know, these 20 years. You know what I'm saying? You start off, Vegeta is just this horrible, horrible bad guy. You know, willing to kill innocent people without even giving it a single thought. But then, you know, he's, um, you know, he finds a rival in Goku. You know, he settles down on Earth. And eventually, he actually becomes, you know, a father. And he cares about his wife, his children. And, you know, it even gets to the point where he cares so much about the Earth and his family that he's willing to make a fool of himself in front of Lord Beerus so that the Earth will not be destroyed. I mean, Vegeta's come such a long way. And he's, you know, developed into a, from just one of the worst of the worst in Dragon Ball Z to a, one of Earth's greatest heroes. And that's awesome. I mean, Vegeta, man. Vegeta, for a long time, was my, um, you know, has been my second favorite character. And, you know, for good reason. This dude is just so great. And apparently he's Ronda Rousey's cartoon crush. So if you, if you can um, earn the effects into someone that badass then you can see why he gets my number two spot. Now, my number one spot for our favorite Dragon Ball Z character might surprise a whole lot of you. Some of you guys might be scratching your head when I tell you my number one, um, who makes my number one favorite character in Dragon Ball Z. Now, my answer for this one is... Krillin. Yeah, Krillin. He's the most badass character ever. Could take down any one of the dragon, uh, any one of the Z warriors, hands down, hands tied behind his back, head shaved. Krillin. Krillin. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, for real. No, just kidding. I'm just messing with you guys. Not Krillin. Even though Krillin is awesome, I'm not saying Krillin sucks. Because Krillin is really cool, and out of the non out of the non Saiyan or human characters of Dragon Ball Z, Krillin is really high up there. Krillin is awesome when he's needed. However, Krillin is not my favorite character. For real, my favorite character is Son Gohan. Gohan, you know, ever since I was a little kid, I've always looked up to Gohan. Gohan was freaking three years old, thrown into battle to train and become a warrior, and he's over here fighting the Saiyans at like age four, and then you know he's in he's on Namek at like age seven, and then when he's a teenager he's like he's become the strongest warrior among the Z warriors at the time, being the first to be able to go Super Saiyan two. Gohan was awesome. And then they slowly downplay him when they when uh, Tomiyama can't go through with his original plan of keeping Goku dead and making Gohan the new protector of Earth, because you know everybody loves Goku and I don't I'm not mad about that. Goku is awesome, but come on, give Gohan his time. I really wish that could have happened. Um, Gohan, you know I'm I'm a little ashamed. Uh, I mean I'm not even, I mean I don't even want to say ashamed. I'm a little saddened by the state of Gohan now, because they kind of, they really, really nerfed Gohan. I mean, they gave him Ultimate Gohan in the, the Buu Saga, and that made him, according to Toriyama, the gave him the equivalent strength of a Super Saiyan 3, which was awesome, that was cool. But then, he gets absorbed by Buu, and then Gohan's pretty much nerfed from there. And then, you know, after the Buu Saga, Gohan doesn't, you know, he doesn't train anymore. He just wants to focus on his studies, you know, becoming a doctor, whatever he wants to do, and that's all well and good, you know. I'm not saying you shouldn't focus on your studies and, you know, want to be smart, because, I mean, your dad's an idiot. <laughs> Maybe you want to be different, you want to be smart, that's cool. But that doesn't mean you have to stop altogether, stop training. Gohan should at least be able to keep him, uh, you know, train to keep himself up. Because, I mean, I don't understand why when he's with Videl, he stops training. You know, when he's married to Videl, he stops training. When when him and Videl met, it was through fighting and through, you know, martial arts. So, come on, Gohan. I just really want you to step your game up. But no matter what, you know, because of just how much I connected to you as a kid, Gohan, you deserve, at least for me, my number one favorite Dragon Ball Z character um, on this top five list for Fanboy Fridays. Now, it's your turn, guys. Unleash your fanboy in the comments below. 
any DBZ fans out there, list your top five uh, favorite DBZ characters in the comments below. Do you agree with my list? Uh, do you think someone on my, uh, you know, you think there's uh, someone that I missed that should have been included on here? Let me know in the comments below, as always. And like I said before, suggest a topic for next week for me to do a top ten or top five of. It could be a favorite list, a least favorite list, or a top five things I want to see on like a TV show or something, or top five things I want to see made into a TV show, anything like that. Give me the topic, and if I respond, that means I'm going to do it. <laughs> so let me know in the comments below what are your favorite DB, what are your top five favorite DBZ characters, and leave a suggestion for next week's uh, episode of Fanboy Fridays in the comments below. I hope you guys go check out. Um, Dragon Ball Z, Resurrection of F, and hopefully uh, later on today, or I think tomorrow, or sometime tomorrow, I will have a review for Dragon Ball Z, Resurrection of F. Um, and you guys can go check that out. It'll be spoiler free um, in the beginning, and then I'll have a you know a spoiler section, give you guys a warning. So definitely go check that out. Until next time, guys, don't be afraid to unleash your fanboy. This is Jay, or this is Mr. Jay for Comic Frontline. And I'll catch you guys next week. Like I always say, once a comic book geek, always a comic book geek. See you guys next week. Peace.